Today on Lilalicious, we are making Lebkuchen, a type of German gingerbread cookies made around Christmas time. This Lebkuchen recipe is somewhat of a family heirloom. It was passed down to my mom and she's been making it for as long as I can remember. And now I'm making it as well and sharing it with all of you. Baking Christmas cookies is one of my favorite things to do in the holiday season. In fact, my earliest holiday memory is also related to cookies, specifically this Lebkuchen cookie dough. I remember a huge stock pot full of this dough that my mom had made. It was so big that it didn't fit in our fridge so instead she put it out in our unheated hallway of the apartment building we were living in to chill overnight. The recipe I'm sharing today is a scaled down version of this original, so don't worry, we're not going to be baking for days and days. To start, we're going to add one and two third cups of brown sugar to a saucepan. To that, add a two third cup of milk, half a cup of water and half a cup of butter. Heat these ingredients on medium high heat and stir them together until the butter melts and the sugar is dissolved. Take the saucepan off the heat just as it starts to come to a boil. Now add in 3 and 1 third cups of flour, as well as 1 tablespoon of gingerbread spice mix. You can look up my spice mix recipe or just add a combination of ground cinnamon, ginger, cloves to add up to 1 tablespoon. And we also need half a teaspoon of salt. Now stir the dry ingredients into the wet mixture. It will be quite firm, so if it gets too difficult to do with a wooden spoon, you can also use an electric hand mix. Set the saucepan aside to cool. We need 1 egg white beaten to stiff consistency. 3 quarter teaspoon of baking soda, as well as two and a half tablespoons of a liquor like brandy, rum or vodka. Fold all of these together until a uniform cookie dough mass form. Because the dough is quite wet and sticky, I find it's easiest to divide into four parts and then roll out each part between two sheets of parchment paper. Then place the dough pieces in the fridge or freezer until they're thoroughly chilled and quite firm. Then dust your work surface with a little bit more flour, add one chilled dough piece at a time and roll it out just a touch more before cutting out your desired shapes. Then transfer the cutout cookie shapes to a baking sheet and if desired decorate them with some nuts or seeds. Bake the cookies at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 15 minutes. Now the interesting part about this cookie recipe is that they're getting a sort of egg wash glaze as soon as they get out of the oven. For that whisk together two egg yolks and one tablespoon of water and as soon as you pull the cookie sheet from the oven while the cookies are still very hot brush a very thin layer of this egg wash onto each cookie. The residual heat of the cookies will cook this glaze to a shiny finish. This glaze also locks the moisture into the cookies and helps to keep them fresh and soft for a really long time. Cool the cookies on a wire rack and once they're thoroughly cooled you can transfer them to Ziploc bags or any airtight container for storage. And this is how you make our family's Lebkuchen recipe. Thank you so much for watching and baking along with me. See you next time. Bye!